Hello everybody and welcome back to another Weathering Waves video. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be completing my very first Ascension trial. That means I'm going to be reaching Ascension level 2. And I'm going to be able to raise the max level of my characters and also uh, unlock a few of their traces. Now, uh, th these are all things that we did in Honkai Star Rail. I'm not sure if I did this in Honkai Star Rail. I started doing it in the later levels. Um, but since I, you know, did that... I am going to be doing it through all of the Ascension ranks in uh, Wuthering Waves. Uh, and what I'm talking about is every few levels, I'm going to do a bit of a showing of my account. Every time I reach an Ascension level, I'm going to do a showing of my account. And I'm basically, I'm going to add in just a few of my opinions on the game because the game is brand new. I jumped in on the very first day, the very first hour. I was doing a 24 plus hour subathon. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go over some of my opinions on the game currently, and then we are going to do this Ascension thing. So, first of all, I put a few notes over here on this monitor over here, so this is where I'm going to be looking. Um, I just, I just want to, you know, run down everything real quick. I don't want to jabber too long, all right? So the open world is fun. I like the open world. I think it's good. It is very, very beautiful. It's... It looks very similar to Genshin Impact, but there's a lot more ways to move around. The climbing is a lot faster. There's little grapples that you can get on. Um, also, something that I'm not using right now is my actual grapple, which allows you to get a little bit of air. And um, yeah, I can show you guys. There you go. So it like it allows you to climb really fast. And then look at this. I literally just run up these walls. You cannot do this in Genshin. And then boom. Yeah, I mean, the movement is just so fucking clean in this game. It is one of the absolute best things about this entire game is the movement. Um, and the open world is very, very fun because it's just fun to move around in the world and play with this very, very good movement. I think it's probably the best of any game, of any gotcha game, of any game maybe ever I've ever played of any type. Right? So, puzzles are great. I like the puzzles in this game. There are a lot of different ones. There's ones where you put these blocks down and they have like arrows and you try to like highlight all of the little squares by putting them in like passageways um, or corridors like areas. Um, it's hard to explain. So I might sound crazy right now. Um, there's the, the ones that I don't like are the walking simulator ones, and that's what I mean by that are the ones that you have to move all over the place. And then there's some uh, puzzles where it you, it's basically like two puzzles combined. You do like the aspect of one puzzle and another puzzle and the same thing. And I think that's pretty cool. Around the world, there are like these little challenge posts that you do. Uh, I know those are in Genshin Impact, so I'm not really going to say too much about those uh, in terms of like the puzzles being good. But those are good, just like they are probably good, uh, an actual good feature of Genshin Impact. So I'm glad they're in this game too. I like the little trials. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different little puzzles. It if you if you've played the game any, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You've done quite a few puzzles. Oh, there's this one where you go into these type of missions, or you go into this instance, and you the game basically turns itself into a platformer where you are now playing a 2D platformer where you're like, it's like Mario and you're going through these stages and you have to like jump and hook and you sometimes you have to defeat enemies and you have to grapple. You have to bring out your glider on the things that like blow you upwards. Um, it is really, really cool. You have to avoid the spikes. I like it. Those, those are probably one of my favorite things about this game. Not about the game in general, but, but, um, they're just really fun, and I, I enjoy playing them. A lot of people have been saying there are a lot of optimization issues. I personally have encountered not a single bug that I have noticed. My game has not crashed on its own one time. Um, I had a different application crash on my computer, and then that caused the game to crash, but that happens sometimes, like, semi-oftenly. Um, it's with my Movavi video editor. Sometimes it'll just crash, but it's okay. I didn't lose any of my editing progress. I was able to reboot at the last checkpoint, so it was fine. I just rebooted the game. It also crashed my stream labs twice during the stream. Motherfucker. Like, that was insanely annoying, but um, I should have had the offline protection on. That was my bad. 
So my 24 hour and 50 and 50 minute stream, uh, while Twitch considered it all one stream, it is four different VODs. Uh, one's like four hours, one's like 16 hours, and then one's like two hours. One was like two and a half hours and one's like two and a half hours. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway. Um, the combat, the, sorry, the combat has difficulty and due to that, similarly in like a souls, like it makes me frustrated sometimes. Like if there's a boss that I'm like not doing well on, I will get a little frustrated. And honestly, I think that's better than not feeling anything when the content is too easy in a game or it's like, oh, this is hard because it's a DPS check. Um, it kind of just doesn't make you feel anything. It's more just annoyed. Um, and I wouldn't even say frustrated is maybe the correct term because frustrated would make it seem like I am saying that it's bad. I don't think that it's bad. Um, I think that it's good and I can outskill a much higher level boss and I have done it. Um, but sometimes whenever you are doing that thing where you're trying to fight a much higher level boss, you get hit one time by a mechanic. Even if you've done great the entire fight, you get hit by one mechanic one time and you are dead instantly from full HP. And I really like that. I really like that. Um, so yeah, there are mobs that walking around the world that are pretty decently above your actual world level. Um, and can sometimes double your level and or triple it or quadruple it in terms of like the the few elite mobs that are around the world there's like eight or nine of them or whatever it is um or 12. i don't know there's a few elite mobs around the world they're like level 65 or 85 or something like that they are insanely strong and you can take them on at any level but um or you can just gear up and then fight them whenever you're actually ready but I've tried to take them on at an earlier level and it didn't end up too well for me. I got one really low, but I thought it was pretty fun. I thought that was pretty fun. That's like what souls like combat feels like. I felt really good whenever I was like weaving in and out and dodging every mechanic and smurfing hard. And then whenever I finally took down a mob that was like double my level or more, I was like, Oh my God, I'm a fucking freak. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, that was really satisfying, but it's also come with a little bit of, you know, frustrating moments where it's like oh my god i can't believe i didn't dodge that it's no fault of the game it's me not you know correctly doing the mechanic and that can be a lot of fun that is what we call challenge so if you like challenge weathering waves is definitely the game for you so the combat in the character the combat of characters that i've played i can't speak on every single character um has all been fun including ling yang which honestly like i did his companion quest and it was a meme on my subathon that I was the biggest Ling Yang hater of all time because I wanted to skip his dialogue every second I could because I hate hearing that little furry femboy speak. Um, and I hate his guts. And for the portions of the game where you got to actually play as him, I was like, oh, wow, this, this, is, a, <clears throat> this is fun. This is fun, I guess. But I think that's more a testament to the fact that the character I want the absolute least out of the standard banner is still a really fun character to play. Um... I think the difference is in Honkai Star Rail, I wouldn't have an ounce of fun at this point. I would never put an ounce of resources into building Yan Ching. And I was considering Ling Yang basically the Yan Ching of this game, but due to the combat being so fun, and I don't think there's a single miss on a character that I've personally played yet, and you'll see I haven't played a lot of characters. But there I don't think any characters have been a miss yet. And he playing him was decently fun. Oh, the story is mid. Okay, Scar, I think, is incredible. He is, I think his voice actor is really good. He sounded maniacal and and demonic and evil like he should. And his fight was really cool. I really enjoyed everything about Scar in that part of the story. I thought it was very, very, very good. Very, very well written. If that was... Basically what my friend Nick was saying, because we were both playing it together um, last night on my stream. Um, he was saying this feels like the end of a plot line. Like this is where this is where like this world would end. Like it was similar to the feeling of like you're at the final boss of the area. And I think that that's really good. I think like 
I think that was definitely peak so far of what the story that I've experienced. So uh, I'm really excited. I know we get to see even more Scar. He is an important character throughout um, as pretty much the whole story as far as I know, at least of what's out of the game right now. So yeah, Scar is incredible. Any scene with him is much, much better than the poo-poo around it, if you know what I mean. I feel like every other ounce of the story is mid. I'm not going to pretend to be a story king god savant, but there are some unskippable story, and because it's unskippable, I listen to it. And whenever I listen to it, I'm like, I don't know. This doesn't hook me. But Scar's parts, all of Scar's uh, story has hooked me, and it's been great. Um, Yeah, I feel like some characters like to go on unskippable yap fests, and that can get annoying. Um, but at least you can skip a few of the things in this game, especially like side quests, which you can't do in Honkai Star Rail, um, which it really sucks. Oyoverse does not like when you skip story. Um, unfortunately, even whenever it's not that great. Um, luckily, Oyoverse is like, luckily Honkai Star Rail's story is incredible, but I feel bad for the Genshin players out there, you know what I mean? Um, I have not found a shiny yet. You know how you can collect echoes from the mobs that you kill in the open world and some of them can be shiny. Um, I have not found one yet, but it's going to feel great when I do. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. It's going to feel great whenever I do finally find one, even if it is just for a cosmetic design, like cosmetic look. Um, that's fine by me. I think it's going to be really cool whenever I do finally see one, so I'm excited for that. Um... Other than that, my pulls have been insanely unlucky. If you haven't already watched um, my video where I did my first bunch of pulls, my first 80 pulls of playing the game, I have been extremely, extremely unlucky. I've done 80 total pulls, and all I got was the one guaranteed 5-star at 50 pulls on the discounted standard banner. And I gotta be honest, it wasn't exactly who I wanted. It was in my top 3 of characters that I wanted. But I also haven't even been getting many four stars at all. Um, anytime I'm doing a thing, I I I might have had one poll where I got m more than one four star, and I see people getting like two five stars, three four star, or like in a poll, and it's like, bro, of course you're gonna see. Um, if you look on the internet, you're gonna see people posting their dubs. No one's gonna take a screenshot of an L, but um, most of the time. But, um, yeah, I'd be looking online, and honestly, a decent amount of people are getting very, very lucky, it seems. Um, at least in, like, the content creator space. Um, which is great for them, but that's not me at all. And as you can see, the five-star I did get, I guess, you know, if you haven't watched the video, it's kind of spoiled for you on the right of my screen there, it's Verena. So, Verena was the third character that I wanted. I wanted, I preferred Calcharo the absolute most, and then I wanted Encore. Um, if I got either of them from this banner, I was going to take the other one from the selector banner. Uh, but hitting Verena isn't bad. Hitting Verena is actually good if you consider a meta standpoint, right? If you are a if you are a meta horse standpoint, um, Verena is actually great. She is basically the Bronya of this banner, except... No, yeah, she's basically the Bronya of this banner when it comes to Honkai Star Rail. Like, there are characters that are good on the five star standard banner that aren't Bronya, like Welt is decent, Himiko a lot better now that Pure Fiction uh, is a thing, um, so Himiko is pretty decent, uh, Yanqing, not, not good, not good, but Japard, definitely serviceable, um, I used to think even less of Japard before I got him and now I actually do use him um, with my Acheron team, anyway, anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about that, um, but yeah, Bronya has always been the best character on that one, and Verena is basically that character. Okay, Verena is the five-star support. Oh yeah, Bayou's on that banner. She sucks. But yeah, I would consider, um, even though Verena's a healer, she's also a buffer. So that's why she's like, she's like Bayou if Bayou didn't fall off because of not having uh, team buffs. So yeah, we are going to do this ascension run now if you don't play honkai star rail sorry about that yap fest on the last point about the standard banner but hey, it is what it is 
Yeah, Verena is technically, by meta standpoint, the best character. But I don't care about that. All right, we, we got this. The end has come. Guide my blade. Eradicate. Oh my god, wait, I fucking failed that. What the hell? Upswing. I absolutely love last second dodging uh, skills with the Violet Heron. Or like blocking them from happening. It What it reminds me of is basically like ice block from games that have ice block. Except whenever you get hit it absolutely shreds whoever just hit you. The hour is upon us. Oh my god. My my hit cancels with that have been so fucking insane. Guide my blade. Judgment. Okay, I actually hit a good ult there. Upswing. Swift and resolute. No hesitation. <laughs> Imitation. <laughs> Swift and resolute. Oh wait, this is the last enemy. We're good. We can all. I wasn't looking at the counter on the side. We absolutely smashed that, by the way. I've been using Rover as my main DPS. Even though I have Dungeon, I actually do have a... Uh, I won for Dungeon. People said the Dungeon was crazy. I find that my Rover performs much better. And I admit, it could be the Echoes. It could be, it could be a many different reasons, right? But... In my experience, just so far, my rover is pretty insane. What is there from the store? Oh, wait, Sunny. Okay. Oh, this goes hard. Three pulls. Nice. Let's get our trophies. Let's get our achievements. Um, let's upgrade our characters. Now. I'm going to show you guys my characters. I have some pretty good ones, I think. I have some pretty decent ones. Um, but I don't have a lot. Like I said, I have not been getting characters. Literally got this one for free through the story. Alright. I got this one for free through the story. Um, this one was from a poll. This one was from a poll. This one from a poll. This one I got free from the story. I have gotten three characters from polls. Three characters in 80 pulls. Guys, um, that's not a lot. So, you hate to see it, but I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, I actually don't even have the ability to do this yet. Okay. I don't have what it takes. Oh my god, I'm a loser. Um, I'm using my Violet Feather hair. Oh, you guys saw that. You guys saw that in the, uh, in the battle. But this is the, uh... One that I chose from the web event. It has been doing me insanely well. Unfortunately, right, I got a flat defense and a regular defense substat. Ah, as my second and third substat, they are not good. Uh, that was not a good roll at all, unfortunately. But the energy regen is nice. The attack is great. Having some splat attack too, that's great. Heavy attack damage bonus is fine too. Um, I do use heavy attack sometimes. Um, this is going to my Calcharo whenever I get him, especially because, you know, it's a Thunder, or it's an Electro Bird. That was the whole plan, because I'm going Calcharo. I already selected him as my banner. Um, going Calcharo and, uh, what's, what's her face? Yinlin. When Yinlin comes out, I will 100% be pulling for her. So, that's pretty much the whole account. I got Varina. I have 
my rover. Um, I currently use Alto uh, because he's a ranged character and I was bored using Chixia. But I have him, even though he's only level 2, I never use him for combat. I only use him for like shooting things and having a ranged character in the open world. Plus his movement is pretty cool too. Watch this. Over here. His movement's like neat. Like I don't I don't even sure like what that would probably be good for, but like it's whatever. You know? But yeah, that's that is the account. One with the sounds. Hit me. Oh, I was wondering why these were so hard. It's because we just upgraded our world level. One with the sounds. Huge. Um, what else can I show you guys? One more thing. The data bank. The data bank, I had at level 7, and then I needed to get, you know, the ascension done. But I had over-leveled to level 8, and then... Um, almost all the way to level 9 before I can actually claim this, so pretty happy I can finally get that. Now I can finally get 4 star uh, echoes, that is really nice, that feels good. Um, and then where can you get 5 stars at level 15? Yep, level 15. At 15 you can finally start getting 5 star echoes, and that's whenever the echoes are actually going crazy, pretty much everything, well, you have a chance to get legendary gear whenever you kill mobs in the open world, so that's good. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. Let me know in the in the comments section below. You know, give me a short summary or just give me a few bullet points. Where are you? Where is your account? What have what have you been feeling about weathering waves? And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.